Whatever enters Oleg's world leaves with a bright new sweater. The world is her canvas. For me, crocheting is like painting or drawing. Last Christmas, she painted Wall Street's charging bull in pink camouflage. She crocheted an entire apartment from teapot to toilet. A piano and its player and neon bicycles, which turn up on streets. Born in Poland, Oleg's been crocheting her portfolio for nearly a decade, putting a new spin on grandma's hobby. But she keeps her distance from the craze known as yarn bombing. It's a warm and fuzzy version of graffiti, popping up in unexpected places all over the world. Oleg wants no part of it. It's cheap as my work. I'm professional artist, I'm professional sculptor. Oleg also does performance art. Volunteers get dressed up in her crocheted costumes and greet strangers with a handshake. <laughs> By interacting with her art, she says the public becomes a part of it. I like becoming a part of the artwork. It's pretty cool, actually. In fact, anyone who interacts with Oleg is fair game. She crocheted a rejection letter from a gallery into a blanket. She has quite a lot of maturing to do. Just two weeks after that rejection, the Smithsonian Museum called. Oleg's creations will be exhibited there next year. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News, New York.